Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video, and we're doing the Boston Celtics versus Detroit Pistons in the NBA playoffs. Uh, this is Johnny's most call. Shout out to Kevin Kill. Uh, I can't forget. I'm here. It's Kevin Kill. I can't forget you. I'm sorry, bro. I don't remember your name, but I believe your name was Kevin Kilmore. Gilmore, I forget. I'm, I'm sorry, but I definitely put your uh, name in the description. Forgive me this video. And uh, yeah, man, this song came out on May 30th, 87, man. But yeah, man, let's get straight into the video. Subscribe if you're new, hit that like button, man, and let's get straight into the video. But yeah, my bad, bro. I can't remember your name, man. Next time I have to look it up. I believe your name was Kevin K Gilmore, something like that. I'm, Sorry if I forget, but uh, definitely gonna put your name in the description, bro. But let's get straight into the video, y'all. Back here at the Boston Garden and what the Celtics. Also, he said the audio isn't that great, and I can hear it now. So, if y'all can bear with it, appreciate it. If not, I understand. But uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Dope will not be their final 12 minutes of basketball this season. They lead it by one, 81 to 80, and it has been a whale of a ball game, and of course marred by uh, a very scary injury. To Adrian Dantley as he bumped heads with Vinnie Johnson, his old teammate, scrambling for the loose ball. Shooting, Boston, 29 of 58. Detroit, a lot better, 33 of 63. Rebounds even at 27 apiece. Celts are going to go back to their starting four plus one as Sam Vincent stays in the ball game. It's going to be uh, Sally Thomas Johnson, that's Vinnie Johnson, Lambeer, and Rodman, the Detroit contingent. And for Boston, it's Vincent Parrish, DJ, McHale, and Bird. That's Boston contingent. All right, Thomas with the ball. Thomas has it stripped and stolen by Vinnie, by Vincent. Vincent is going in, lays the ball up, it's no good. Oh, he was mad at himself. He stole the ball on the dribble from Isaiah Thomas. How many times have you seen somebody do that? All right, a behind-the-back pass goes to Lambeer. He hits. Oh, uh, that puts Detroit out in front, 82-81. As uh, Lambeer suddenly was wide open. They haven't been leaving him that open, but he got open that time. All right, now Vincent with the ball. Up top, it goes quickly over to DJ. Back to Vincent. Vincent holds the ball. One. There's the stutter step. Loops the pass into McHale. And then he caught McHale's pass is four. Rodman catches and it goes to Thomas back over to Rodman. He stuffs the ball and he got fouled. Yeah. Uh, it's 84-81. The score. Boston is uh, is down three as a couple of quick hoops by Detroit. And now Rodman's at the line and he's in a position to put him ahead by four. Kevin McHale had the cutter going to the hole, but he didn't go to him. All right, now quickly. The, the free throw is good. And the ball gets tangled up with some of the crowd, but now they get it, and quickly it goes over to DJ. DJ bringing the ball up. All right. And now Bird has words with Rodman. Rodman is really holding him all over the place. There's the pick. Bird gets loose. Bird bluffs. And now gets the ball in the Parrish. Parrish is rejected by Rodman, and they're going to call it. They're going to call it. Lambeer and DJ were not in a tussle, but uh, they weren't happy with each other. All right, now Parrish is at the line. 85-81 to score. That foul was on Rodman. That's only his first. Now he's talking to Earl Strom. Well, the word we get on Adrian Bentley, he has a concussion. He is still in the locker room, and they're not sure if he'll go to the hospital. I would take that as a positive sign. All right, Parrish misses. 85-81 to score. Boston is trailing by four. Less than 11 minutes to play in this ball game. It's been nip and tuck and seesaw all the way. Uh, the shot now is good. 85-82 to self trail by three. All right, Isaiah brings the ball up. He's guarded by Sam. Isaiah, they clear the middle for him. Now there's the log jam. Now it goes to Vinny Johnson. Now Vinny hits. Oh, Detroit has a five-point lead again. 87-82 the score. Ten and a half minutes left. All right, DJ brings the ball up. He goes down to the left. He beats his man, but he has to hold up. Now he beats him again. Going to the baseline, and he has to hold up again. All right, now he gets it into Robert. Robert gets loose and stuffs it. 
And he got fouled. He got fouled, and I don't know whether it's Mahorn or Benny Johnson. I think it's got to be Mahorn if they call him the original uh, move. Yep, it's Mahorn. <laughs> they gave Robert a continuation situation because Mahorn hit him to keep him from, from uh, going in for the hoop, but he was already going, and uh, they allowed the continuation. Mahorn is charged with his fifth personal foul. Now, Parrish is at the line, and the shot is good. They can make merry with Parrish. That's where they really can take advantage. Except because right now, nobody can guard him. Except that Robert's hurt. I know that. But he's out there. you got to use him. On the left now, quickly, the shot by Benny Johnson is no good. There's the rebound rejection, and they're going to call a foul on McHale. McHale rejected the rebound attempt by Sally. And they're going to call the foul on McHale, and that's five on him. Well, somebody's going to have to do something about John Sally getting in and getting those offensive boards. That's the only thing he's done in this entire ball game. But he continually sneaks in and gets into position to get that rebound. All right. The problem is he hasn't hit much at the free throw line where he's one of four. Uh, Sally is at the free throw line, and he's uh, got two, and he hits the first. Oh, it's 88-85, Darren Day coming in, and Kevin McHale is coming out. And Kevin's a little upset. Uh, it says something to Daryl Garrison on the way by. You better be careful. They don't like uh, Dennis Rodman and uh, Casey Jones had some words. Dennis Rodman is uh, an irritating, arrogant, young player uh, and he's got a lot of ability but boy is that kid arrogant and uh, the shot now is good 89 85 the score boston is trailing by four all right vincent with the ball vincent goes to the left and uh, vincent comes down the sideline now uh, goes around his man throws it up there's a rejection that looked like it was going down but they call the block, and now Thomas goes in and misses a shot. The rebound is missed. Rebound is missed. The rebound now comes out today. Bird has it. Bird comes to the right. Bird is in the paint. Bird swings through on a drive and draws the foul. And Lambeer is charged with it and holds both hands out as if to say, what did I do? He's still got his arms. That's five on Bill Lambeer, no four. Four on Bill Lambeer. Larry was looking to have uh, the foul called, uh, rather a goaltending call as well. And Earl Strom says, forget about it. Timeout, 9.34. Remaining in game, we'll go to the line for two. A chance to bring Boston within two. The crowd right now, not that loud, very tense. It has certainly become seat squirming time. Their offense, once again, has bogged down. All right, it is nervous time right now, but it's been nervous time for quite a while because this thing has gone that way. And uh, uh, it'll be Larry Bird at the foul line. Uh, Isaiah is talking to Darrell Garrison. And uh, the foul situation is, well, I think it's a little bit worse for Detroit than it is for Boston. Five on the horn, four on Lane Beer, four on Isaiah Thomas. Five on McHale, three on DJ, three on H. All right, Bird at the line, and the shot is good. So it's 89-86, Boston Trail Street. Less than 10 minutes to play here in the third quarter, in the, in, the, in the ball game, I'm sorry. And Bird hits it again. 9.34, 89-87 the score. Boston is trailing by two. Isaiah brings the ball to the left, guarded by Vincent. Up top it goes now quickly over to Rodman, guarded by Day. Uh, wide pass goes over to uh, Vinny Johnson. Throws up the bomb. It is no good. The rebound fought for. And Bird gets it. It looks like he might have been fouled by Lambeer, but it was only a bump. And uh, they don't, they haven't been calling those. He's away. All right, now Vincent with the ball. Vincent wants the interchange with Robert, and he gets Bird on a pop out instead. The shot is gone. That ties it up. Turn around right in Sally's. And uh, really, I want to tell you something. He looked like he looked all over the court to see if there was a pass situation. Absolutely. That was uh, it was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. All right, Thomas with the ball runs into a bird switch. Now quickly over to Johnson. 
All right, now it goes to Rodman. Rodman throws up a bad shot, and Lambeer gets rejected on the rebound. Oh, oh. Knocks a few people out of the way. Misses the shot. Harris got five. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what was he doing, yo? Like, he just on the song. <laughs> yo, that's crazy, man. He got fouled by the hot dog. And that's four on. No, that's. No, it's only two on Rodman. I'll tell you, though, Daly better be careful about Rodman in that game. He had a wide open jumper jump from about eight feet. And he missed everything underneath. That bird shot at the other end. Had Larry missed that, we probably would have said he forced it up. Instead, it goes through, and we're all tied. All right, now DJ with the ball. DJ goes to the right. Uh, DJ is looking for Bird. He has Rodman on him. Uh, DJ gets it, gets Bird. DJ cuts. Bird double team. Bird gets the ball over to Day. Day back to DJ. DJ is driving on Lambeer. Goes in, lays the ball up and in. Uh, it's 91-89. Boston leads by two. 8:04 left to play. All right, Benny Johnson with the ball. Less than eight minutes to play. Benny Johnson clears, fires up a bad one, and picked up a bad one. His bad ones hit the rim. All right, now the Bird, five on four. They get it over to DJ. Benny Johnson gets back into the play. All right, Bird on a pop out. Drive, loses his man, gets the ball back out to DJ because Bird fell down. DJ throws it up, it's no good. Uh, a lot of struggling going on underneath, and Sally have the ball, but there are several wet spots on that end of the floor. Uh, they're drying up, up now while the ball's at the other end. All right, Thomas has the ball. Thomas goes behind a pick. He has a daylight, starts the drive, goes in, and gets rejected and fouled. And uh, let's see who the foul was on. It looked like it was... I ain't going to lie. Isaiah Thomas is stinking it up right now. Isaiah is stinking it up, man. He's just like a wild player, look like. It's on Larry. It was on Larry. That's three on Bird, and Isaiah is going to the line. Boston leads by two. Oh. 721 left to play. I think amazing, uh, more amazing than anything at the other end was the fact that Bird was able to keep that ball active and out to Dennis Johnson. He started to drive on that baseline, and he tripped over Sally. He went flying, but he kept the ball alive. All right, the shot now by Isaiah is good. So it's 91-90. Boston is leading by one. Seven minutes and 21 seconds left. And Isaiah is ready. And he fires and he hits. That one was in, out, in again. 91-91 the score. Darren Day brings it up. All right. He's guarded by Rodman. Oh, he goes to DJ on the right. They want Bird. They get Bird. Bird double team. Steps back. Throws it up. It is no good. Darren Day gets the rebound. Keeps it alive. Great rebound by Day. Gets it in now to Robert. Robert gets shoved. Robert gets molested. Oh, my! They call it a, a rejection, but he got shoved from behind by Lambeer. On the right now, Dumar for the ball. Dumar look. Off top it goes to Isaiah. Goes in and gets rejected from behind by Danny. All right, now a looping pass goes underneath to Robert. And Robert he cannot put it in, but Lambeer fouls him from behind. He fouls him hard. He fouled him hard. He did not hurt him, however. That was a legitimate foul, though, because Lambeer was oh, going absolutely. for the ball. He was going for the ball, but he fouled him very hard. He did not hurt him. Well, we understand that. Damn, I hope he's okay, man. I know this is back then, but damn, that's damn. Concussion, I say they said? It's crazy. Now that Dantley is being wheeled out of the locker room and off to the hospital. That's the word we get from downstairs. We'll take a timeout with 6.39 remaining in game six. He has 31 points, six rebounds, six assists, one block shot. The reserves, along with Rick Carlisle and Scott Wedman, who are not dressed, waving the towels in front of the players just to cool them down. I think also that they have uh, cold water drenched uh, towels on their shoulders. And uh, at least it looked that way to me. I don't know whether there is water on them or not, but that would be a good idea. Robert Parrish will go to the line for two. As Lambeer prevented him from getting that shot off, Lambeer goes to the bench. He has five personal fouls. So All right, Ricky Mahorn comes, uh, comes back and he has five personal fouls, but I think 
If somebody fouls out, they'd rather it be Mahorn rather than Lambeer because Lambeer gives them that tremendous outside shooting. Yeah, it gives them that offense. All right, 91-91 the score. Less than seven minutes to play. Paris makes it 92-91. will go again. Well, I'll tell you, if ever a guy showed some guts and determination and courage in general, it's been Robert Parrish in this series. 93-91 the score, and there are 6.36 left to play. Thomas comes up. Thomas up top. Uh, and that was Dumars, rather. It goes to Thomas now. Thomas rolls in and lays it up and in and ties it up. I say he got Danny to turn to the wrong side, then he just turned baseline. 93-93 the score. 618 left. All right, DJ with the ball. DJ looks. Bird is in the pivot. Rodman's on him. It goes to Bird. All right, Bird gets the pick. Comes out around it. Mahorn is on him now. It goes into Parrish. Parrish the rainbow. It is gone. Parrish with. Yo, Parrish is balling right now. He drew a complete convoy. Oh man, he was surrounded. All you saw around him were blue shirts. All right, Thomas with the ball. Less than six minutes to play. Thomas starts to drive. He goes into the lane, throws it up. It is good. He went from right to left, underneath, and in. I say, here's that guy right now. That's the guy you got to stop. 95-95 the score. All right, DJ with the ball. DJ, look. And there's the interchange along the baseline. Kevin McHale is back. Kevin McHale has it. Back over to DJ. It goes now to Bird. Daylight up top. Swift! 95 Boston leading by two. And both offenses now starting to work at peak efficiency. All right, 516 left. Thomas with the ball. Thomas looking. And Thomas wants. Thomas can't go. Thomas is double teamed and rejected. And the rejection goes out of bounds. I don't know who it was that came over. It was DJ, DJ that came over and rejected him. From the weak side, they had double teamed Isaiah with Ainge and Bird. And DJ picks up from the weak side to commit the block. Ten seconds on the shot clock. All right, Larry, uh, Sally will put the ball on a play. And has to go to Mahorn. They want Thomas. They want Thomas every time. Now he gets it back out to Mahorn. He hits. Oh, uh, 97-97. And uh, DJ has the ball. Uh, less than five minutes to play. We're seeing a rip snorter. I mean, a real gilly. All right, now. There's the interchange along the baseline. Bird pops out. Bird drives to the left. The left-handed jump shot is good. I mean, we just saw a left-handed jump shot. He has got Rodman running and running in the wrong direction. 35 now for Bird. Amazing display of, of prowess by Bird. All right, Dumar starts to drive. Dumar clears. Dumar throws it up and it's no good. The rebound comes back out to him. He throws it up again and gets it. 99-99. That was a deep rebound that just came back to him. All right, it's all tied up again. 408 left to play. Danny has the ball stripped by Thomas, but he gets it back. Now Thomas falls down. Danny clears. Danny fires. Danny misses. Bird gets the rebound on the baseline. Bird brings it up back out to Danny. Out he goes deep to DJ. DJ brings it down to the left. All right, DJ back out to Danny. Now to Bird. Bird throws it up. It is no good. The rebound goes to McHale. McHale holds the ball back over to DJ. Less than four minutes to play. Well, Boston is working hard on the board. They're not hitting, but they're working hard on the board. All right, DJ with the ball. Pops it off to Bird. Double team back to DJ. Back over to Bird. Bird has Rodman on him. And Bird throws it up. It is no good. The rebound comes back out to McHale. McHale's in the lane. The throw and the shot is no good. Paris the rebound. Paris works. Harris looks like he got fouled. Bird gets the rebound. On the left, it goes over to Ames. Ames back over to DJ. It's really rough as a cob underneath there. Now Bird up fake. Back to Ames. Ames, a three-point attempt. is caught. A three-point field goal for Danny Ames. Five opportunities. Wow, 2.99. Less than three minutes to play. And Detroit wants a timeout. What a display. Salute intestinal fortitude by the Celtics on the board. That was it. They kept on getting that ball back and giving themselves another opportunity. 
absolutely amazing. They get five shots at it. Ainge hits the three-pointer. Timeout, 252. Right there might have symbolized Boston's entire season. They refuse to give up. They refuse to be counted down and out. Right now, they're up by three. Plenty of time remaining, 252. All right, now, Detroit, of course, recognizing the fact that this thing is winding down. They have everybody out there, regardless of whether they're in foul trouble or not. Uh, Lampier is back in the ball game, and he's very valuable to them. All right, now, quickly, Thomas with the ball. Gets a pick from, uh, from uh, uh, Mahorn, and Thomas goes in there and hits the shot. So it's 102-101. Boston leads by, by one point. All right, now, DJ with the ball. DJ looks. DJ goes to the right. Back over to Bird. It goes. And Bird goes up top. Less than three minutes to play. 225. Bird steps back. Flex! Yo, I seen that other way. I knew he was going for Yo, I knew he was going for that shot. I could just tell he was going for that shot, yo. Or 101 the score. All right, here's Thomas for the ball. Thomas over the line to the top guard of my aim. All right, goes behind the pick. There's a switch by Mikhail. He's on Thomas now. Uh, Thomas steps back, throws it up, misses the shot. The rebound is in, and it's deflected, and it's no good. Rodman came up and got a second rebound and put it in, but it's not going to count because Mahorn was, got the first rebound and was fouled by Parrish. Parrish immediately got up on him, and I think he did the smart thing. You don't want to give him that easy shot inside. You're better off committing the foul. He prevented him from getting off the shot, forced him to earn it at the line. Oh, uh, that puts Boston at four. They're right at the limit. Mahorn with the ball, missed the shot. 104-101 the score. 205 left to play. Oh, uh, Ricky Mahorn on the line. And uh, he's ready. And uh, the shot by Mahorn is good. It's 104-102. Boston leads by two. All right, Bird holds the ball. Bird brings it up. And less than two minutes to play in the ball game. The Celtics have a two-point lead. We have seen an absolutely great ball game. Now Bird draws the crowd, goes back over to DJ. DJ in the corner to Ames. The shot by Ames is no good. The rebound by Bird, and they wrestle it away from him. And there's a foul on, on Thomas by Danny Ainge. And Thomas wanted to hit him. Thomas wanted to hit him. And Rodman came over to hit him. Rodman is always around somebody else's fight. Well, I think what Danny did is once he committed that foul, and obviously it was an intentional foul so that Isaiah was not going to get the breakaway, he committed it in the backcourt. He held Isaiah down, and he said, hey, listen, that, all I'm doing is I'm preventing you from taking the shot. And Isaiah now apparently agrees. Isaiah, however, foul. in his own nasty way, slapped at Danny's hand, would not accept it. But, of course, Bird hasn't accepted uh, the apologies by uh, Lambier either. So, oh, there's the case of... Uh, Guys are uh, in the competitive heat. They just won't accept apologies. And I can understand that. And Isaiah hits the shot. It's 104-103 the score. He had a, a breakaway going, and Danny stopped him. And he stopped him in the backcourt. And Isaiah misses. Bird gets the rebound. The slot pass goes quickly over to DJ. DJ comes down on to the right. And Isaiah goes for the ball, can't get it. Back out the deep, uh, Bird it goes. 133 left. All right, Bird going into the hole. Rodman is trying to keep him from there. Oh, Bird gets the ball. Bird swings around Rodman, dishes back out the DJ. DJ, yes! It's 106-103. Wow, that was a good pass right there, boy. That was a good pass. Ah, right, yeah, got me. 122 left. All right, now Thomas down the lane. He gets stolen. Stolen by DJ. Paris blocked his way. He couldn't see anything. He could not see anything. His vision was completely cut off. All right, Ainge on the sideline, on the left, back over to DJ. DJ, again, coming up with those subtle big plays. All right, DJ holds the ball, drops it off now to McHale. McHale being wrestled, throws up a pumpkin. It is no good. Lambeer, the rebound, calls for a timeout. There are 52 seconds, less than one minute to play in this ball game. I can't believe the Celtics did not call a timeout when they brought the ball down there. I cannot believe they did not call to get the ball back, and they'll get a two-for-one situation with 52 seconds remaining. But remember, they've got to make up three. So they either need a three-pointer or they need the two possessions. All right, let's see what happens. And Rodman's going to put the ball into play. 
Uh, Rodman's inclination to, to climb onto somebody from behind when a fight breaks out is just, uh, boy, it really stinks. <laughs> All right, Dumars with the ball. Dumars looks. Dumars gets the pick. Dumars goes for a drive, goes in, and lays it up and in. Uh, 106-105, Boston is leading. Now the ball goes in DJ. DJ being guarded by Dumars. DJ uh, taking a little time. DJ comes up, and Dumars bumps him. DJ gets into the forecourt, and he wants Bird. 33 seconds left. It goes into Bird. Double team. Back out to DJ. DJ with daylight. Over to Danny. Danny fires up. It is gone. 108, 105. 25 seconds left. Detroit calls another timeout. Two or three. Clutch field goal by Danny Ainge. Right at the end of this ball game. And I'll tell you, boy, that busted up the lock jam. I'll tell you, Danny has not had, until this point, a big ball game. But he has been a monster in the Fordham can faster. Here we go, gang. 25 seconds remaining in the Eastern Conference Championship. Boston by three. Detroit has the ball. Rodman will inbound at midcourt. Uh, Detroit has uh, the three-point shooters. There's one of them. Isaiah takes the three-point shot. It is no good. McHale goes way up in the air, gets the rebound, and gets fouled. He got fouled. And the foul, I think, might be on Lambeer, is it, or is it on Dumars? No, Dumars. It's on Dumars. Now McHale. And Kevin McHale is going to go to the line. There are 20 seconds left. Two. And here's the picture. Boston can put it almost out of reach right now if they get, well, both of these. Well, uh, primarily, but I think all they need to put it out of reach, really, or almost out of reach, is one of them. Well, Kevin has got to, right now, forget about those ones he missed earlier. He can let everybody else forget about them if he hits them. Oh, and the shot is good. And the far point edge with 20 seconds left. All right, now, Mikhail will go again. And the shot is good. 105. They're out of timeout. Thomas takes it down. And Thomas is rejected. Gets it back. Throws it up. It's good. And it's 110 to 107. Now DJ got fouled by Isaiah as he came cruising by. Well, the interesting thing was and the Chuck play. Daly is getting nasty with his mouth from the, from the sideline. The line. interesting thing was the five players, they came down after the Isaiah shot. He and Robert Parrish both went flying to the floor. And they were kicking each other, I think, just to get back into the play, get back up on the uh, on the floor. Mahorn ended up getting a little shove to Isaiah Thomas as they were coming back up court just to pick up on DJ. And ended up uh, pushing him right into him. It was All right, Darren ball, Day anyway. is coming into the ballgame. And Robert Parrish, and we got to get up for Robert Parrish. We have to get up for Robert Parrish. Absolutely oh, amazing. This was a magnificent display of of intestinal fortitude and courage. I mean, I never, I don't think I've ever seen anything bigger than that. All right, the shot by DJ is good. I don't know how Robert was able to do it. 16 points, 11 rebounds. The thing was, he felt so good coming into this game. And then he went down early, re-injured the ankle, came back and had a phenomenal ball game. 111 to 107 to score. Shot by DJ is good. 112 to 107. 11 seconds left. They don't have any timeout. And there's a foul, a region foul by DJ. DJ thought he had all ball, and I thought he did too. I thought what he did is he reached into Mahorn, and Mahorn ended up knocking it off his knee, off of Mahorn's own knee. But what it will do is it's going to send Isaiah Thomas, I believe. Or who is it? Is it Dumars? I'm sorry, it was it'll Dumars. Be, yeah, it'll be Dumars at the line. 112 to 107 to score. And, uh, going to be interesting. They may they may uh, miss one here. Yes. All right, now, Dumars throws up the first. It's, it's good. Look for the miss. Gotta Look go to see the if the miss. Yeah. you got to go for and, the miss. And uh, Parrish is going to come back in the ball game. And that's why, because they and, know they're yeah, yeah, that's right. He's, he's looking for the rebound, getting back into the ball game. And uh, Darren Day comes out. And Sally is in. Sally is a great rebounder, too. And uh, Lambeer comes out, and uh, they want the rebounding right there. Lambeer is not nearly as good a jumping jack as Sally is. Uh, 112 to 108 to score. All right, Dumars, the men, and the rebound is tipped up. 
Tipped up again, and Sally gets it. And Boston has a two-point lead, and uh, they take a timeout. They've got to be careful. Oh, it gets scary right here. They have got to be very careful right now in this situation as Sally did exactly what he was supposed to do as he came into the ball game and there's only a two-point Boston lead and suddenly this inbounding pass becomes the your home you've worked long and hard to own one so it's good to know Liberty Mutual makes your home insurance dollars work harder for you that's why in the past two years over a half million more Americans switched to Liberty Mutual for home and auto insurance and why each year nine out of ten Americans who live in homes insured by Liberty Mutual stay with Liberty Mutual timeouts Boston has elected to move the ball to half court that's where they will inbound with only seven seconds remaining two point Celtic lead they're starting to move the sound band around yeah. the television to make sure a DJ has plenty of room to put that ball in yeah you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want to lose this game because of sound all right now bird is trying to fight his way clear they collapse on bird it goes to danny ainge danny is knocked down by rodman well danny did the smart thing john because once he got the inbounding pass and got it on the sideline he kept his body protecting the ball nice job rodman gives him the shove and now it's important that danny hit two of them here because if he only hits one it's a three-point ball they game conceivably they conceivably put a call of a foul on the pass in uh they were really holding Bird. They collapsed on Bird. Denny hits the first one. Oh, man. Man, your heart almost stopped that time because it was in, out, and then in again. Okay, he's got to hit this one. This is the big one right now. Make it four points. Three points. Uh, Remember Darren Day is going to come into the ball game and uh, about to play the D, and they're going to get McHale out of there. McHale has five. And uh, if this thing should continue, they certainly want McHale alive. All right, the shot now is good. It's very important. Good. All right, now Thomas with the ball. Thomas gets fouled in the backcourt by DJ. And uh, Boston holds a four-point lead. There are four seconds left. Yeah, they'll give so him. Thomas is going to go to the line. Well, that's it. They'll give him the two. They'd rather give him the two than give him the three. Commit the foul and just give him the two points. Let him go get him at the line. But now what Boston has to do well, is Well, the point sure is what Thomas is going to have to do, what Thomas is going to do is miss the second. try to make the first and miss the second. And even if they get a field goal off the second on a tip in, it'll use up probably the rest of the time and it'll still leave them short. Well, you got to protect that the board though. Sally was a giant last time. All right now. Oh, Thomas hits one. It's 114 to 111. Robert Perry. If they get the if they get the miss and they get the field goal, uh, they get the uh, rebound, they got to go outside for three and that's what Boston has got to walk worry about. All right now. He misses everything. It goes out of bounds. No. He just didn't do it. Hit the rim, but went out of bounds. It went out of bounds off the rim. I thought it might have missed, it missed everything. All right, now Bird trying to put the ball in a play. It goes to Paris. Paris is fouled immediately by Joe Dumar. That's going to be a uh, No time off the clock. No time came off the clock. Fouled him as he caught the ball. The foul was on Rodman, and... Uh, I wonder what they're calling, because they're waving oh, everybody wait away. Minute, wait a minute, what they're calling is an intentional foul on the inbounding pass away from the ball, which means they get the shot. And foul is... DJ is and at the get, foul line. DJ the is at the foul line because that's where the foul occurred. But they know they're going to get the ball back. Yes, down. that's right. That's an attempt. 115 to 111 to score. And you cannot. Thomas is talking now to Daryl Garrison, and let's see, Daryl Garrison is coming to the sideline. Boston ball. And Boston, Boston is going to get the ball back. The rule is under 24 seconds, you cannot commit an intentional foul away from the ball. All right, now Danny. Gets fouled hard by Isaiah, and Danny is limping. Well, Isaiah came up behind, and that foul was meant to be hard. And you can't tell me Goody Shoes didn't make it, didn't, uh, didn't mean it. And Lampier says, way to go, way to almost destroy somebody, baby. <laughs>
<laughs> yo, Lambert is crazy, yo. But we all know he was known for stuff like that. But that's crazy, though. Yeah, that was a hard foul, though. That damn sure was a hard foul. But this is a good game. I know Willie really, really wasn't that much excitement, but it damn sure was a good game. I got to find more games like this, man. If y'all know more games like this, yeah, send definitely send them to me. He's doing a Dennis Rodman. He's doing Rodman right to his face. He's waving the uh, the right wrist. All right, the same okay. way Rodman does it. You're right. He was giving it back to it. Dennis Rodman. The whole bench is doing it now. Right to Rodman in his face. All right, now Dumars with the ball. Look at the it, it is good. That is 117 to 113. That's the final. No. And Dennis Rodman coming off the floor, and Mikhail is right alongside of him and does the same thing. Puts his arm up and waves it. And, and that is back in your face, Dennis. Back in your face. And Kevin is talking to him now as he comes off, and I'm sure he's saying, you don't do stuff like that because it comes back to haunt you. Rodman smiles at him and says something back. So they're friendly as they're walking off the court. And now Mikhail sticks out his hand and shakes Dennis Rodman's hand. So they go out. And they seem to be fairly friendly as they go out. Matter of fact, more friendly than they well, have been in the entire it series. Was, it was a, a war. The whole series was a war. In fact, the last two series were, was a, were wars. But in each case, the victor had to hang on to win. Boston did a, a tremendous job to win. And I tell you, with all it said and done, these Detroit kids did everything they could to win this series and almost did. Well, I think they're a lot better team, and uh, we talked about that when they beat Atlanta. A lot better team than people uh, thought they would be coming into the series. And uh, they played uh, just a, a monster of a series against the Celtics. But the Celtics just blood and guts. Uh, this team continues to amaze. Well, you know, they may you... be one of the greatest, and I'm not saying that they're gonna, what they're going to do against Los Angeles, I'll... but I think from here on in, it's a bonus. I really do. Oh, yeah, that was good, 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 man. That was a good game right there, yo. That was a good one. If I could definitely find that full, full game, man, and that whole series, yeah, I definitely would react to that. But, uh, yeah, man, y'all know I keep it short and sweet, man. I'm on to the next video. Leave your comments down below what you think of this. And, uh, yeah, man, subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button, and that's about it, man. But that damn show was a good one right there, man. I like that one. You know, it wasn't too much action, but it was just like, you know, game seven. It's the like, come on, it ain't going to really, it's going to be a lot of like it, how it just was going on, you know? So, I mean, I know some people might be expecting like the action on, but no, nah, man, that's game seven is playoffs. You know, it ain't going to really be too like, oh, too much crazy like that. It's going to be intense back and forth, back and forth, fouling, you know, especially at the end of the game like that. But uh, yeah, man, that was damn sure good though right there, man. Paris was balling. I mean, I'm telling you, that was a good game right there, man. But yeah, man, that's about it, though, man. On to the next video. I'm out. Peace.